you're on pretty yeah. much everyone's list. Yeah. By the way, whatever happened to Hunter? Where the hell is he? Is it th the first thing you think about when you wake up, the last thing you think about when you go to bed? No, it really isn't. And the reason is, is because I know where I stand with my dad. I know where I stand with my family. Being the, the subject of Donald Trump's ire is a feather in my cap. It's not something that I go to bed nervous about at night at all. Where's Hunter? Hey, fellas, I have an idea for a new T-shirt. I love the cops. But let's do another t-shirt. Where's Hunter? Where is he? The reason I'm able to do that is because I am absolutely enveloped in love of my family. I certainly hope that there is no negative political ramifications of this. I think that the truth always wins. Do you think you're a distraction right now to your father's campaign? No, personally, myself, I'm not necessarily a distraction to his campaign. Um, I, I'm never a distraction to my dad. But as it relates to actually going and being on stage with him, this is not a family business. Everybody kind of thinks that, um, that somehow, whether it's a compliment that we're like the Kennedys or whether it's a um, backhanded compliment like you're the Trumps, my dad has a, a job, but that does not mean that I had ever had any plans to go do um, rallies and, um, and you know, talk about um, Donald Trump's kids. And I never will. You know, that's not what Bidens do. My dad doesn't go after other people's kids. Joe Biden is known as a close talker and perhaps a little inappropriate in how he touches women and children. It just doesn't, never has. So you think it's perfectly fine? I mean, the Trump children have been criticized for doing similar sorts of look, that's, that, I, I don't, look, unlike them, I don't spend a lot of time thinking about them. I really don't. It's all noise. And what they do is they create just an enormous amount of noise. I have to then answer questions ab about accusations made by probably the most unethical group of people that we've ever seen in this republic. You said no one votes or will vote for or against my dad because of me. Yeah. And my dad knows that. Do you still believe that? 100%. They know who my dad is. A former Senate aide has filed a police report accusing Joe Biden of sexual assault. Tara Reid told multiple media outlets Biden attacked her in a Capitol Hill office building back in 1993. My dad doesn't have to defend me. My dad only has to love me. And my dad loves me unequivocally. Look, I know that after being able to get up after Bo died, say whatever the hell they want lock to say about me. Lock yeah, him up. Good for them. Yeah. Maybe lock her up goes to lock him up. I mean, who cares? Look, I'm like, I really, like I've said, I've been through some stuff in my life. I've been through some real, real stuff. This isn't real stuff. It isn't. It truly isn't. That part of it, that Barnum and Bailey, um, you know, say anything, do anything you want. You know, I mean, like, you know, Donald Prince Humperdinck 
um, Trump Jr. is not somebody that I really care about. The left thrives on hate and wants to silence us. Is the executive vice president of the Trump Organization, President's son, Donald Trump Jr. I think you're the son that's most like the father, by the way. Oh, I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, maybe it took 41 years to get there, but uh, is that, uh, <laughs> I guess Hunter Biden has some of that from Joe. He also mumbles through all of his interviews, so uh, I, well, I guess I got I, the oratory I want to just skills. ask one question. I'm going to let you go. I want you to respond fully, but here's my take on this. He is dumb. He admitted everything we knew. He yeah. admitted no experience Ukraine, China, no experience energy, oil, gas, yeah. no experience private equity. Yeah. We're talking about a ton. He, he misled when he said, I'd not a penny. We know he's got equity. Of course. At least probably 20 million. Here's the thing. If this was you and your vice president dad, sorry to your dad about yeah. the demotion, it would be never ending coverage. The end of no. the world, Sean. No. And that's the real. And by the way, it's not just then. How about right out of school? He gets a high paying job from MBNA, the biggest bank and the largest employer in the state of Delaware, where daddy is conveniently a senator. Mm -hmm. He then gets on the board of Amtrak. I believe that was 1996. So he was what, about 27? What was his experience? I guess dad took the train once in a while. So that made him qualified to do How that. many miles have traveled on Amtrak? The so Bidens will launch a train tour. An Amtrak train. Biden build back better train it tour. Never ends. Then you had the China. You have Ukraine. Minor problem. He's never been in energy. Doesn't speak Ukrainian. Minor details. But it's okay. And by the way, more importantly than that, they want to question my family or imagine being in hiding for months like he's been since we've been talking about this and you come out and that's the interview you give.